All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with God so people here forbear. Pretty much a lesson on just going into obey and live. Obeying the God of the Bible you have by Shemel Shai and live Israel. I mean, it don't get no plainer than that. You know? Seek you have by Shemel Shai and live, man. This is Job chapter 36, verse 11. If they obey and serve him, serve you how by Shemel Shai, you know, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years and pleasures if the Israelites obey but if they obey not two sides to every coin right but if they obey not they shall perish by the sword obey live disobey perish Ain't no gray area, that's straight black and white, Israel. That's straight black and white. And that goes for all of us, man. We all need to get it together, man. The Lord is coming. He gonna come like a thief in the night. He's, look, he said pretty much everything gonna mourn that ain't right, man. Lord said, look, look, I'm gonna come through like a bat out of hell. The Israelites that's obeying me, they, look, they're gonna live. The Israelites that's disobeying me, look, they're gonna die by where the sword. And what's a sword or any kind of instrument? The famine is a sword. The gun is a sword. Earthquake is a sword. The storms is a sword. The missiles is a sword. The chariot shooting the laser beams is part of the sword. Sword represents destruction, right? But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword. Then you know, you just can't do whatever you want to do. Israel, the true and living power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the God that needs to be feared above all gods, he's coming. He's coming. We, we, we need to fear, man. Obey and live. And they shall die without knowledge because the majority of our people, they already destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You reject the knowledge, the Lord is going to reject you. All you disobedient Israelites that ain't even thinking, and you ain't even trying to even keep one commandment of the Bible to the best of your ability. Just live in a careless life where the God of the Bible said, look, you're going to die by where the sword then. Isaiah chapter 13. Verse 6, howl ye. When you howl, you cry, you scream. Howl ye. For the day of the Lord is at hand, Israel. The day of the Lord is fastly approaching. And it's going to catch the majority of our people off guard. It's a day of darkness. It's a day of gloominess. I woke up fearing the Lord, man. Throughout the week, I at least try to do a couple of lessons on fearing Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Why? Because that's the beginning of knowledge. The Lord allowed me to walk. He allowed me first and foremost to be able to wake up and praise those high holy names, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Allowed me to get out the bed, walk, talk, see, hear. Those are the things that you pray for. I'm able to understand the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. I'm able, I'm still able to understand fearing the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, right? How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. That's why the scriptures say it's high time to awake out of sleep. Because salvation is near to what we believe. This right, Israel, salvation is near to what we believe if we're part of that hopeful number. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. 
that if you obey, if you Israelites obey, if we obey until the end, then the Lord is going to protect us from that destruction, right? But if you disobey, you shall perish by the sword. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore, all hands shall be fake. And every man's heart shall melt. Why? Because he doesn't have Isaiah 33 and 6. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures to keep him stable. Doesn't have any hope. Doesn't have any faith. That the Lord can save and deliver them because they've been wicked as hell the whole time. So they already know it ain't no chance for them. They already know. Verse 9, Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Obey and live. Disobey and die, Israel. Die. It's not arithmetic. It's not algebra. Do what is commanded of you and you get to live. Go and try to do your own thing. You die. Amos chapter 5 verse 4. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, unto the house of Israel. The Lord got real Pacific. He's talking to the house of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Seek ye me. Obey, right? Search for the Lord. Search through the scriptures. It says, search the scriptures, for in them you find life. We live through these words. We quicken us, what made us live again, these words. So if the words haven't quickened you, that means you still dead. That means you still dead, Israel. For thus saith the Lord, Amos chapter 5 verse 4, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. So if you're not seeking the God of the Bible, what does that mean? What does, it, what does that mean for you, Israel? The Lord says, seek good and not evil. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds. Who is the he that the scriptures are referring to? Lord Yahweh Shah, who you eagerly call Jesus. And what are the clouds? The chariots, man. What they eagerly call UFOs. Those are the chariots of the Lord. And that's the vehicle that the Lord is coming with. And the Lord's going to be zapping people out of their bodies, man. He's going to be zapping your spirit out of your body. The Lord ain't coming back playing. He is not coming back playing. Let me just prove what the clouds are. Psalm chapter 104, verse 3. He led the beams of his chambers in the waters. He maketh, look, he maketh the clouds his chariot. So the chariots are known as clouds. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Let's go back. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. And they also, because the chariot is going to be that big. As we said, he thought he seen a flying mountain, man. That's going to be so scary. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It's going to be so scary. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. And every eye shall see him, Israel. And they also which pierced him. Henceforth, reincarnation. The Lord got pierced over 2,000 years ago. You mean to tell me is men still walking around, coughing, gagging, spitting, sneezing? 2,000 years old, no, they died, came back, died, came back, so forth and so on, many a times. They back now to witness the Lord coming through in that chariot. And they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail, shall cry, shall moan, shall scream because of him. Even so, our mind, that's why the scripture told us to obey and live. Make no tarrying to turn to your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Draw near to your power. 
We're living in this wicked world where they look down on you for seeking the God of the Bible. They make you, they make you the laughing stock of the earth just because you're seeking your power. Psalm 73 and 27. For lo, they that are far from me shall perish. The Israelites that are far from you, how about Shemel Shah, you worshiping any other thing other than the God of the Bible, you're going to perish, meaning die. You're going to perish, Israel. Thou has destroyed all of them that go a whoring from me. Israel played the harlot with many lovers. We still worship him. Allah, Buddha, says the Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva, the Lord have, have us saying those names over and over. Because that's who our people are worshiping. They ain't even worshiping the true and living power. The Lord said he has destroyed all those that went a whoring after these other gods, man. Destroyed them all. And it's getting ready to happen again. See the Lord making moves behind the scene. He ain't letting you see everything. Man, the Lord is killing all kind of people. Putting them in all man, the Lord is. We're just putting these people through it. And we want to be protected by the Lord that's doing all these things. Verse 28, Psalm 73, 28. But it is good for me to draw near to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It's good to draw near to our power. But I have, look, but I but I put my trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that I may declare all thy works the Lord coming back in that chariot the Lord said look the, my day is going to be a dark and gloomy day I'm killing tens of thousands and millions of people when I come draw near to your house by Shemiah Shai Israel look the Lord said woe to that bloody city aka America woe to that bloody city it's all full of lies rape robbery and murder the Lord most definitely going to destroy this place and he's going to destroy certain other parts of the earth. That's why it's a must that we obey. That's why I started off with that scripture, that Job, man. That Job 36 chapter. Joel chapter 2 verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. The Israelites, their memorial, their monument, right? And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Tremble. Not party, but tremble. The scripture's been told us to go to the house of mourning. Rather than going to the house of feasting. Because that is the end of all men. When, when you're doing all that party, that means you ain't paying attention to what's going on. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and, and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the one is spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there have not been ever the light, neither shall be any more after it, even to many, even to the years of many generations man a fire devoureth before them this is going into the missiles man the lord is bringing icbm missiles with them man all right a fire devoureth before them and behind them a flame burneth it's describing the missiles the land is as the garden of eden before them before the missiles hit this place this place was a pretty much a paradise right before the missiles hit and behind them after the missiles hit we just read how, how America was before the missiles hit this is after the missiles hit and behind them a desolate wilderness yea and nothing shall escape them and nothing shall escape these ICBM missiles except for the elect Nothing is real. Do you not hear what the scripture is saying? Nothing shall escape the ICBM missiles except for the elect. That's what the scripture say. Look, draw near to your power. 
Seek the Lord and live. Make no tarrying to turn to Yahweh by Shemiah Rishai. Because look, the Lord is going to destroy this place soon come Israel. It's like, how many times do the Lord got to say it? How many times do the Lord got to say he's going to destroy this place from off the face of the earth for you to get the message? What do the Lord have to do to get you to take heed to the message, man? He got to kill you. St. Luke chapter 12 verse 5. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. You want to know who to fear according to the Bible? Well, we're forewarning you who to fear, all right? Fear him, which after he have killed, have power to cast into hell, which is a condition played out on earth. See, the Lord knows that he can destroy that body, take that spirit, send it back up, send that spirit right back down into another body, torture it, take it through the ringer, destroy that body again, send that spirit right back up, Send it right back down into another body. Set it on fire with that spirit inside of it. Make you feel every bit of that flame. That's the power we all need to fear. Fear him, which after he have killed, have the power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him, which is the beginning of knowledge. And because sentence against an evil work, hasn't been executed don't think the Lord gonna let you live repent Israel we all must repent 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 second Chronicles chapter 19 verse 7 wherefore now let the fear of the Lord Yahweh be upon you take heed and do it for there is no iniquity with the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh power, no respect of persons, nor taking of gifts, man. Lord ain't taking no gifts. Look, the Lord executing judgment. The Lord is executing judgment. It says, "Let the fear of the Lord be upon us all. Let the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh be upon us all, Israel." The day of the Lord is going to be dark. It's going to be gloomy. And the majority of our people are not going to make it through. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not. But the unjust nor no shame. Judgment is coming. The Lord fell if not. Judgment is coming, Israel. Obey and live. Shalom.